Today we're introducing a weekly segment called Figgy in Focus. Yes, this is an opportunity for us to highlight all the exhibition and events and the activities happening down at the Putnam Art Museum in downtown Davenport. Always lots going on. Yeah. Joining us today is Emily Enders. Emily, you're the curator of exhibitions and programs at the Bedford Gallery <laughs> In Walnut Creek, California. <laughs> That's welcome, correct. Welcome to the yeah, quads. Welcome little truck. Welcome to the quad cities. <laughs> Thank you're you. A, you're a long way from home. Uh, you were just telling us you got in last night. Mm -hmm. um, and that's because we're talking about something very specific today, which is a traveling exhibition. Um, and it is, it's titled Tradition Interrupted. Mm -hmm. Tell yep, us a little correct. bit about it. Um, so Tradition Interrupted includes 12 international artists mm -hmm. um, from all over the world and the United, in the United States, uh, so artists from Azer Azerbaijan, Iran, and all over the U.S. and Mexico. Oh wow, okay, so um, give us a brief overview as we take a look at some of the images of this exhibition. Um, what themes, concepts would you say that this explores? So this exhibition explores um, what the artists are thinking about in terms of their traditions and their cultures mm -hmm. and how they can modernize those traditions and cultures and bring them into a contemporary space so that um, these you know lifelong and honored um, traditions are not lost kind of in the really digitally focused and fast-paced world that we currently live in. Interesting. So this is a little bit different from maybe some of your uh, traditional concepts of artwork, correct? Yeah, I think there are some artists who are speaking directly to the concepts of art and what art is. A lot of the other artists are actually looking at cultural traditions um, and really thinking about that and how that, that can change and evolve over time and bring those uh, communities along with them so that um, people can learn and thrive in, in, new, in new environments. So what would you say would be like a good example of maybe something that we would see in this exhibition that would challenge a traditional, um, a traditional norm, especially for, for a culture? Mm. So there's a, um, a work called Maximum Sans Sensation by Munir Fatmi, um, and it's a series of 14 skateboards that I are love that one <laughs> <laughs> that are actually hung in a, a kickflip. Um, and so the really interesting part about it is that um, they, the decks are covered in Muslim prayer rugs. Um, and so I think when the viewer first sees it, they kind of stop and they're confused and a little oh. taken aback because they're not used to seeing skateboards with Muslim pr prayer rugs on them. And uh, what Fatmi has really tried to do is talk about um, religion and the power of prayer and spirituality, and then that is more in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, for some people, skateboarding is a religion and is a spir very spiritual practice just as much as praying is for other people. I love that. And we're, yeah. we're seeing the image that we just saw on the screen right there. And I wouldn't have known that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just by seeing, I think this, these all look beautiful. Um, this whole exhibition is really cool. Seeing those skateboards like that, I would have no idea no. that it would have those um, rugs on the top of them. So definitely a reason to go and see this in person. So for people heading down to the Figgy to see this traveling exhibit, what is the one thing that you want them to pull away from this? Obviously, we have artists from all over the world, so there's a lot to take in. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, given that the world that we live in, I would like people to come into this exhibition and look at all the different cultures and traditions that we have in the diverse world that we live in um, and to really respect and appreciate all of those different points of views and hopefully learn something new from someone that they might not normally interact with and come away with a, a new perspective and uh, respect for, for fellow people. And this has been going on since uh, about mid-December, so what's mm -hmm. the response so far been like for this traveling exhibit? Uh, so I actually ran into the executive director of the yeah. Figgy this morning and she said it's been very, very well received. Oh, that's great. And that it's one of the exhibitions where people actually spend the longest amount of time oh. in the gallery looking at the work um, and that kids have really, really loved it. I think they especially love the skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think they especially love Ana Gomez's work, which is um, to-go containers, but they're actually in ceramics. And so it's this really fun play on, yeah. you know, our very fast-paced to-go world and this ancient tradition of ceramics. ceramics. Mm -hmm. I love all of it so much. Okay, so tonight, something really cool. Um, there's gonna be a free tour of Tradition Interrupted. It starts at 6.30. Um, so what can people expect if they, if they show up tonight and attend? So they can expect to see me again. <laughs> well, that's great. It's lovely. Yeah. I will be there. Um, and I will be leading a, a curator tour through the actual exhibition, talking about each of the artworks, 
um, you know, explaining a little bit more about the practice and the artists behind the work and where they come from, mm -hmm. but also sharing some funny stories about how the exhibition came to be and how it travels and all of those really interesting things that come along with organizing an exhibition. Yeah, it will be interesting. Our time with you, our short time yeah. with you has been very enlightening. Um, you. Uh, you can see Tradition Interrupted, the exhibition, through March 31st, so you have a little while longer yeah. to get down to the figgy. But again, tonight's free tour, it starts at 6.30, it is open to the public, and uh, for a look at any other exhibitions or events that are happening at the figgy anytime, visit figgyartmuseum.org. Emily, thank you so much for yes. being here today and traveling so far just to be on QCL. Yes. Just My kidding. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Well, enjoy the Quad Cities. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.